it's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And this is day five in Chula Vista. And it's been rock day. We pulled in three yards of three eighths California gold and probably the equivalent of about half a yard of burgundy three quarters into this front yard. So you can see how pretty it looks. Remember, I went with the lighter 3 8 uh, because of the common space lawn. Remember, Greg, you want to go over here? The stupid strip, I call it. Um, every week, the gardeners come and mow an edge and then blow all the grass into the rock. So it won't show up that's an issue for you too if you you know you've got that situation the california gold or the lighter tan colored rock are a really good option because it doesn't show the debris quite as much as um, the debris would show on the darker rock so i created you know wanted a little interest so i brought in some burgundy and i just kind of spilled it down the top of this installation remember we also brought a lot of soil this is probably at least three yards of soil to get this kind of height in this shared space garden it makes for so much drama do not go cheap on your soil so I'm pretty much done another little thing that I did was I laid in a little um, flagstone path here. You know how I feel about right angles, I don't like them. So I softened up this with some flagstone. So when the client comes home or she has guests and they park, you know, they, this frees up more, more space for them to travel. Also allows uh, for moving out the trash cans. The neighbors pull their trash cans down their pad and so we created this flagstone for them so they could roll their cans out easily as well. Over here, Greg installed some spotlights. He's got three, three lights across the front here shining up in key places. Again, I pulled in a more of a, you know, a thick ribbon of the burgundy all the way through this design. Then I edged it with honey quartz rubble. Then tomorrow I'm going to bring in some three quarter inch black lava and line the front of the, the, the front of the rubble with the lava, with the black. I think that is going to create that third element that is just going to make this little landscape pop. I have passed out more cards to neighbors in the last five days than I ever have doing an installation before. I'm thrilled because in this area of Otay Ranch in Chula Vista, you know, 98% of the, of the gardens, the, the yards are still lawns. It's, you know, so sad. And this, this is so pretty and it's so simple. And it's just going to, as you well know, I'm preaching to the choir here, but I mean, where's the maintenance where's the water you know there isn't any it's just pretty and it's going to continue to get prettier and prettier and prettier as time passes uh tomorrow is a, we will wrap it and we will do the final reveal and i will show you the backyard at that time this has been laura eubanks and team dfs with day five in chula vista and your succulent tip of the day